Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another word for read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. If you are dealing with a situation that seems stagnant for quite some time in your love life, and you really at times wonder, shall you move on or shall you wait? This reading will definitely help you know that. I will be adding oracle guidance as well in this reading, so stay tuned. I'm here for I dive into the read on uh, Capricorn that may remind you. It's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal read, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. Uh, shall you move on in the given situation from this person, from this situation? Shall you move on? Yes or no? Five of Wands, I feel like you know, you're very stressed. You're very stressed uh, stressed around this uh, current situation that you're dealing with. Um, because probably you love this person a lot. A lot more than you should have loved them. And I feel like, you know, um, whenever you think of the current situation and the way things are, I feel like you know, it just adds more to your stress because you really want this connection to work. Because there's a lot of love. There's a lot of desire for uh, getting commitment from this person uh, you you know um you you don't like you know for majority of you i feel like you know, it's very hard for you to even think of otherwise uh you know um you you don't imagine uh your life not working out or your love life not working out with this person i feel like you know, you're very stressed whenever you think of uh, cutting ties with uh, with this person it's something that that seems impossible for you to do uh you're too attached you're too concerned um uh, when it comes to this person, and I feel like you know, um, with the passage of time, uh, you you have uh, come to the point where uh, where you feel like you know, even if they don't love you back, you choose to stick around, and I feel like you know this is something which which can be good uh, to satisfy your soul, but it can get toxic with the passage of time, especially if the person does not give you anything in return, no respect, no love, no communication, nothing at all no friendship if that has been happening i feel like you know um you you need to do justice to yourself i feel like you know with the passage of time in the times to come like in, in days or weeks to come you are going to understand is it good for you to stick around this person in the given situation or is it uh you know ideal for you to move on from this person i feel like in for majority of you you are going to choose to stick around um and be friends with them or try at least to be friends with them so you stay in touch with still so you stay in in connection with this person i feel like you know, it's very hard for you to break free from this person completely and i feel like you know what you're going to be doing is you're going to surrender thanks to the divine i really don't see you breaking free from this person because you have a strong sense of belief that eventually this connection is going to work out so probably you are going to detach yourself or pull away from this person emotionally being too uh, involved into this connection but you're not going to cut ties with this person i really don't see that coming through i really don't see that uh you are going to be like you know completely cutting ties with this person you love this person you have a strong bond with this person but at the same time i feel like you know you're just going to give some more time to this connection i really don't see you cutting ties with this person so I really don't think um, you are going to choose to move on from this person or this connection. You're going to like, you know, you might choose to pull away a bit, but that's all that you probably can do for now. I feel like, you know, you are not ready and prepared to let go of this connection completely and fully. Um, I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you're just going to surrender the connection to the divine. So I really don't see you moving on. I really feel like, you know, you're going to give this person some more chances before you choose to walk away and i really don't see you walking away here i really feel like you know um you you really want this person to acknowledge um that dedication that you have showed to them in in all these like you know years or months or you know weeks uh you know since you've been with them and that's going to make this person face what they actually feel for you rather than running away from their feelings towards you I feel like you know, this person has always felt of you to be somebody who is good to them. But deep down, they always had their, their certain insecurities of themselves. So I feel like, you know, um, you are not going to leave this person. I really don't see you walking away. Let me take one card from the middle of the deck just to ask the same question again once uh, more. Um, shall you uh, move on from this person? Yes or no? You are not going to do that. You are going to keep yourself in that situation. Um, shall you stick around? The answer is a yes. And I, I really feel like you know, your strong faith in this connection 
is something which is going to keep the two of you together and I really don't see this connection ending. Probably you will have tough times uh, for some of you, but I feel like you know the love that you have um, is going to make you kind of like, you know, uh, stay strong and the faith that you have is also going to keep you strong. Uh, and uh, I feel like you know that's how you are going to be able to manifest what you desire with this person. So I really feel like you know you are ultimately gonna get what you desire with them. Um, and I really don't see you moving on from this person. Um, let's see. Um, what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation that you are having with this person? What's the oracle guidance for you in the given situation? impossible things working through disbelief imaginative leads um fresh perspective now i feel like in a majority of you it's very important right now for you to stop believing in the impossible whatever you believe is not possible it is going to happen uh to so try to stay strong and try to create the life that you desire with your imaginative uh, leaps of faith and i feel like it's very important for you to take fresh perspective around it like you know you can start using affirmation ignoring the current circumstances whatever the current circumstances are just start affirming something that you desire instead of like you know focusing on what is going on and why they are not giving me commitment why they are not loving me back instead of asking those questions try manifesting what you desire with this person by keeping your focus on what you desire not on the fearful thoughts let's see one more card here you are rare and free there are not many like you. I feel like, you know, there is also one, one more thing which can keep you strong is the kind of person that you are. There's nobody out there like you. So you just have to have confidence in what you have offered to this person and how come they can, they, they, they want like, you know, accept their or acknowledge their feelings for you when they have seen you loving them so much. So I feel like, you no, know, you have to have that confidence again. Uh, where you believe that you know they cannot move on from you they cannot as you can't move on from them because you have so much love for this person trust me they also have the same love probably they are not open to to express it right now but they will so the divine really want you to stay um you know in that faith as you are right now when it comes to this connection and you shall get what you desire with this person let's see one more oracle card here let's see what else do you need to do to have what you desire with this person oneness is my true nature so i feel like you know as you become one with what you desire it's easier for you to believe that it is possible because you already start believing that it's all yours you are one with them you are one with your desire already so once you start believing that uh affirming that it is going to be that so you just have to start you know um using the tools and techniques to keep yourself on the right path forward to be very honest i feel like in you know, a majority of you you are already in that direction where, where you are going to have your wish granted. But at the same time, for those of you who are struggling to stay positive, that's what you can do and practice to, to have what you desire. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care, bye.